European ETF market flows were moderate in April 2015, after a very strong first quarter. Net new assets over the months amounted to 4.5 billion of euro, or minus 16% below the one-year average. Total assets under management are up 27% versus the end of 2014, reaching 460 billion. Sustained ETF flows from fixed income continued, whereas flows from equity ETF declined sharply. Equity ETF declined heavily to 959 million. Inflows from developed country recorded the most dramatic decline, uncertainties on the Greek front, and regarding the economic outlook weighted on European ETF. Flows experienced a strong trend reversal of minus 149 million, following three consecutive months of positive inflows exceeding 5 billion. On the other hand, Japanese equity ETF flows were still strong at 21% above the one-year average. Mistrust over Abenomics is starting to fade. Uncertainties on the timing of the Fed interest rate increase and negative economic news have waited on US equity flows, which were close to zero. Flows on emerging market ETF were also close to zero, indicated that investors have remained on the sidelines. Fixed income ETF inflows were sustained at 3.5 billion. European fixed income ETF continue to benefit from ECB monetary easing policy. The very low yield environment in Europe has benefited US Treasury ETF, which gathered 578 million of euro, a one-year record high. This has also been positive for high yield bond ETF with net new asset of 415 million. Corporate bond ETF continue to benefit from the crowding out effect created by the ECB quantitative easing. Commodity ETF saw limited outflows of 18 million with negative flows on gold funds. Thank you for your attention and I will be pleased to speak to you next month for June ETF market trends.